and that's how this and that's how this conversation is going to start but without further ado we are in acots green a different setting october red boxing with the lovely the talented the lightweight corey gibbs welcome thank you for having me again first of all we're going to talk about a change of scenery yeah. last time i saw you was in Eastside. And obviously now you're here with Max McCracken at Acox Green. Talk to us a little bit about the change and, and why you made the change to move gyms. So it was just, um, obviously it's been, I've been with Eastside for, well, since the start really, since the amateur. But um, yeah, I just felt like I needed a change now. Like obviously it's got to a point in my career, where obviously I'm going to be boxing for big titles now. So I felt like I come here with Max and I had that one-to-one that -one which I needed. And he's obviously he's talked to me about a few things and everything's just perfect. I've come here. I feel, I feel good, do you know what I mean? I feel at home here and I've only been here a week. So yeah, I feel like with Max, I've learnt stuff already. I've only been here a week, I've learnt so much. Um, just slowing my boxing down, when to like pick my shots, when to throw my power. So I feel like even just now, just working with him for a week, so my next fight, you're gonna see some, a different Corey Gibbs. <laughs> the thing is, you're very talented anyway, a skilled boxer, someone that's really nice on their feet. The decision then, I mean, People can take from this what they want, but you've been with someone from the beginning of your career. How hard is it for you as a fighter to say, you know what, I've, I've got to, I feel like I need to develop myself and I feel like I need to make that change. How hard is it for you as a fighter? See, it wasn't that hard because, I, because obviously it's my career, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So it's like I've got to do what's best for me. And I felt like with my boxing, it's just been going nowhere really but I feel like that's with me obviously when I'm certain trainers like falling in and out of love with it and obviously not having the right training it's just like now I'm here and I've actually got and heard what I want it's like I've settled nicely and I know my boxing is going to move to a different level now so it's just um yeah so it wasn't that hard it was just I needed to do what's best for me and I've done it and now it's the, it's the right move 100% Training with Max McCracken, I know, like you said, you've only been here a short while, but he's a name that's known in boxing. He's a former fighter himself. You know, he's got other fighters here, other skilled fighters as well. How have you found it then with the change? What developments have you noticed already? See, just the way he's uh, ju just slowing stuff down with me and like the way he spoke to me about a few things about the sparring and about stuff I've got to work on personally. So it's like even just my head movement, which I thought... Obviously, I thought I was good, do you know what I mean? Which, obviously, I am talented, but it's just, there's so much to work on still, do you know what I mean? So, obviously, even that, he's talked to me about what I've got to work on, what's coming next, and what, obviously, I'm, I'm boxing for titles next, so I've got to be on it, do you know what I mean, with everything. So, even that, I just, I've spoke to him, I've worked to him for about only a week, and it's I know it's the right move already. So, I feel, obviously, him being a fighter himself as well, I know, even that plays a big part, so he knows how I feel in the ring, out of the ring. So, um, yeah, man, I feel like that's a big... And obviously, even you've got Razor in the gym, you've got Solomon in the gym as well. So I feel like you just got the top talent in the gym. And obviously, individual work. He's got me coming in at 8.30, just working with me. So Then he had me in here the other day doing tech spa with Raza, which was brilliant. It's different, do you know what I mean? So I'm just enjoying the different, the different training, the different work. Signed to Boxer. I get it as well, like you said, you're going to be fighting for titles. Yeah. There's going to be that pressure then for you to up your game. Yeah. There's, only many, there's only so many, put my teeth back in, there's only so many fights that you can get through where you're coasting. Yeah, no You've got to step that level up. So how important is it to you? How much do you want it? How much do you want to get better to make these sacrifices? See, that's, and that's the, one of the main reasons I moved because uh, in my last fight, there were certain shots I was getting caught with didn't really feel the best, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so I thought I had to make a change. And obviously I had to sit down, add a little think, and then it was now or never really, do you know what I mean? So it was like, I had to do it. And um, so it'd been playing on my mind for a while. Like, there's certain stuff I just felt I weren't enjoying it. But why I weren't enjoying it is because I weren't learning, I weren't progressing, I was just staying, like, like I was still, do you know what I mean? I weren't moving. So it was like, just him talking to Max and just, seeing what he can do with me and just having them sessions I've been doing just for me as well, them individual sessions. There's so much I've got to work on. And that's why even in my next fight, you will see a lot more excitement and me sitting down on my shots and getting people out of there. 
when you say like you you get stagnant and the thing is what you're saying is important because there's other fighters out there that will experience what you experience so all of this is learning yeah. do you know what i mean so what is it when you know that you're not going to progress anymore and you've got to say you know what i need to challenge myself what what is that final switch that goes off in your head? Yeah, like there's obviously there's loads of little things that go into, but um, it's just for me it was the sparring, the sparring, and my last fight. It was I was getting caught with silly shots, but they weren't like I didn't know how to fix it, if you know what I mean. And obviously, and that's what I feel like with Max, with the individual work I'm doing with Max, it's it's just gonna make me feel better. Do you know what I mean? It's it's only gonna make me be better, and that's why even for being a fighter and then you feel like you're not progressing or you're in a fight and then you're getting caught with silly shots you shouldn't be getting caught with but you don't really know how to change it then it's like what am I doing? Do you know what I mean? Am I doing something wrong? Or, and that's what it is I've, I've, I've been working on the, uh, my head moving my back switching my last fight was pretty ordinary like it weren't there do you know what I mean? My head movement's pretty good but it's just because I ain't been doing it it's just it ain't been there so that's what he's been working with me, just moving my head, constantly moving, sitting on my shots when, when I can. Do you know what I mean? So even that, like I never had that before. Um, so just him now bringing that stuff out of me, it's just going add to my, add to my style and add to my game. And you're somebody that's come from like the small hall circuit, so you understand the pressures of what it's like to literally break that barrier and be signed by his boxer. You know, with your, your deal then, and, and this is, like I said, I always think of people that are listening to these people that are considering getting into the sport. What is it like for someone like yourself that gets that contract? Yeah. Do you still feel pressure that if you don't perform for your promoter, yeah. you can still get put in the bin? Yeah, of course. That's what it is. It's like you've got to perform. That's why, that's why they sign you, isn't it? Because like, obviously they see something in you. Do you know what I mean? So obviously that's what it is with me. I showed I've got the skill, but they want to see more obviously everyone wants to see more do you know what I mean and I know I've got more and that's why Max bringing it out of me now it's going to be like it's going to be different like obviously you're going to see me like enjoying it as well like you know when I'm in the ring you actually see me enjoying my boxing again as well so that's what it is now like I've seen, obviously I've changed I've made the change I've been here for a week two weeks and already I'm seeing a massive difference I'm feeling a massive difference and just the enjoyments back again. Do you know what I mean? So, and 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 that's what it is. Me being signed to Sky, it's they they're expecting more out of me. So now I had to make that change just so I know I can give that back to them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like the contract. It has to work two ways. It can't just be like one-sided and them giving you that. I'm not saying that you didn't work hard because of course you did. Yeah. But it's not like you you get it and then it's like oh I'll rest on my laurels. I'll I'll wait for them to give me a fight. You're one of these that's saying okay. I've been given this opportunity and I've really got to make the most of it. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's like, I've been given, and that's what it was. I said it when I won the tournament. I said, I've been given this opportunity and now I'm going to work hard. And uh, so I have been working hard, but it's obviously there's certain things I've been missing out on. Do you know what I mean? There's certain things and that's what it is. I've, I've thought about that and obviously I've just moved on now. Obviously I've got a new trainer. I've got like, obviously a new environment, new gym. Everything's new. So obviously... Um, I'm going to get a, a new manager as well. So everything could just be perfect now. If I could just concentrate on my boxing, nothing else, and then just enjoy it again and actually put on good performances, which I know I can do. Any advice that you'd give like someone in relation to like the boxing business? You know, somebody that's been through or going through or embarking on what you've gone through. What advice would you give to a, a young up-and-coming fighter about the training, about the management, all of that stuff? Yeah. What advice would you give them? Just be smart, man. You just gotta like obviously take it as it comes. Obviously, you gotta start somewhere. But obviously, even with me, like you just gotta especially have a good team around you. Just have good people around you, just so they can tell you about certain things. You know what I mean? If it's just you, it's hard. Because I'm gonna in, I'm gonna interrupt there. What when you say good people? Because there could be people around you telling you what you want to hear. What yeah. do you mean by good people? See, well, when I mean good people, I mean like, you see, I listen to my family a lot. Do you know what I mean? So I've got a good family and I know my family care about me. And obviously um, I've got good people behind the scenes as well, like who are, who've been with me from day. Do you know what I mean? Who do a lot behind the scenes. Like, like I've got some good sponsors as well who, always, who I'm always talking to and who always do a lot for me. So that's what it is. Like as long as you've got a good team and people who actually care about you as well, not just for them. Do you know what I mean? So... 
It's just like have a good team, have people who who want to see you do good and who respect you and obviously um, obviously want to f see you fill out your dreams, you know what I mean? It's like not people like who are just with you just because you're there, do you know what I mean? So I've been, I've had people since I was on these small horse shows with me and they're still with me now and that's what I'm saying about having a good team manager who can, who can actually say like, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong and just steer you on the good path, do you know what I mean? Just keep you on the right path. But we talk about obviously, you know, your previous gym, I know there's no animosity there because we spoke off camera. Sometimes fighters might feel they get a conscience and they feel a bit guilty, sort of like, okay, I'm here now, see you later. Yeah, yeah. That kind of culture. I just want you to let our viewers know that it's not like that with you and you just had to take, you know, the, the right decision for yourself. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, nothing against Eastside or anyone. Like, they've, they're a good gym. They do, they've got their fighters. They've got good fighters and it shows. But you've got to do what's best for you. And that's what I had that feeling where it was just, I wasn't enjoying it, and then what, and then obviously I was questioning why I weren't enjoying it, and it was because of certain things. Obviously, I was just stagnant, like, like I said, I weren't learning. I was thinking like this can't be. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's what it was. It's like I weren't learning anything anymore. And obviously, with me, I love learning. Do you know what I mean? That's why I'm in the gym to learn. So it's like when when I felt like I stopped learning and I, I stopped enjoying it. That's when it was like I need something new. I need something fresh now to um, to finish my boxing career, do you know what I mean? Because that, that's what it is now, I want to enjoy it. Do you know what I've got left? I know I've got a, a while left, but I still want to just want to enjoy it and win titles now. Do you know what I mean? I'm at that, I'm 17 and now, all I want is titles and just, and just keep progressing to world level. Do you know what I mean? We like it and that's a really positive attitude to have and, and, and gracious with it as well. So the all important question, and it's what I always ask every fighter that I've, I haven't seen out for a minute, yeah. is when are we going to see you out again? October 29th, I'm back out. Yeah, October 29th. Um, oh, the Halloween card. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I spoke to my thingy. Uh, obviously, they've still got to announce it. And they've announced the, the main card. But, yeah, so October 29th, I'm back out in Birmingham. Oh, no. Hometown as well. Hometown, Halloween, October. It just can't get any better. That's what I'm saying. Scorpio season when I was born as well. You know what I mean? Libra. Are you Libra? October. Obviously. The best though. <laughs> the November ones are cool. If you're born in November and you're a Scorpio, then you're... Oh, nice one. <laughs> you get me excitement. <laughs> Listen, Corey, it's always a pleasure. I need to get some bits with you, like I said, but we'll sort that out another day. But a pleasure to speak to you. A pleasure to meet your dad as well. Until the next time, October Red Boxing, Corey Gibbs. Respect. Respect, mate. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.